what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss tear up in this mood. Today I got a box of demonets, a slanesh. And I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. So let's take a look at it. I'll, uh, let's do this one frame at a time. Get it nice and close. So on the first frame, we got a bunch of crab claw arms. Look really nice. Got our banner. Oh, get it even closer. Got one banner here. Ooh, creepy. And one ba uh, one banner here, or like a totem totem pole kind of thing. Got some heads. Let's take a closer look at the heads. Little punk mohawk action. Screaming crazy ex-girlfriend. Another angry ex-girlfriend. We got the horn for the musician. Gross. Gross. And more heads here. Let's turn this over. Ooh. Hmm. Yep, I am familiar with all of these expressions. Here it looks like claw arms for the champion. Huge, really detailed, ornate, segmented, carapace looking claws. Really f fantastic, as Sean would say. That's sprue number one. Let's take a look at sprue number two. The, bod the bodies, and um, I think I've got this flipped around, so let's take a look. Here we go. So the bodies come in torso and one leg, clawed feet, and the other legs are, you're going to have to put them on. Oh look, they come with little disgusting tails as well. Awesome. This one looks like an earthworm tail. Gross. You'll notice from the figures that they're all wearing like little pieces of corsets and like black leather or metal looking corsets and that they're just like Slanesh's I guess theme is these demonettes are half female, half male. Gross! Gross. What's nice though, and the thing that I don't like about Games Workshop coloring all of these black, all of their corsets black, is that some of them have really, they look really cool. Like the detail on the corsets look really cool and intricate. Like they're all kind of different and intricate and it's like kind of sad that they're all just painted black pretty much. Games, Work so Games Workshop studio scheme is that they're all black. Here are some more legs. And you've got heads for the regular girls who aren't going to be holding the standard. Just kind of backing up the big girls at the front. So their hair is not as detailed or ornate or big. I don't know about these ones with the shaved heads that's 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 spookier than sexy to me and I think Slanesh is supposed to be a mix of spooky spooky and sexy spooksy sepooky so I don't know the, the ones with the shaved heads don't really evoke that feeling for me they're like oh wow that's a creepy looking monster but kinda hot but real creepy kinda gross disgusting so, the thing is, okay, I'm going to go on a little rant here and just show you the, the models. The thing is with Slanesh is, I think everybody just kind of focuses on how Slanesh is the god of like 
decadence and perversion and excess and stuff, but I think nobody really gets into the fact that the followers of Slanesh, they don't get it, get, get into it all just mainly for that. Like, in a lot of the fluff, people start to worship Slanesh because they want to improve themselves or, or uh, achieve perfection and, you know, physically and mentally and, and stuff. So, I mean, dude, you look at the LA movie star celebrity culture, like all of them would be worshipping Slanesh because they're all constantly getting plastic surgery and nip tucks and plas you know, facelifts and all that stuff, Botox, so. So like everybody gets into that, oh Slanesh just wants to like roll around and have orgies all day, but nobody really talks about the people who follow Slanesh because they, you know, they feel inadequate about themselves and they want to and they want to improve their, their lifestyle and they want to better themselves and or maybe they're fighters and they, they, they want to be better and more have more finesse on the battlefield and it's not just about the looks but it's also about you know how people perceive you and and you know what you make of yourself and so a lot of the four chaos gods are all supposed to be reflections of human failings right or human you know human I guess the things that make us human so, like everybody talks about how corn is blood for the blood god, and Zinch wants to just change and mutate everything, and Nergo just wants to make everything gross and full of like pus and disease. But and Slanesh just wants to roll around and party all day. But I think that's a facet that would be interesting, especially in armies with the new Storm of Magic book that are going to use demonic packs, like in uh, a cult. Like, a Chaos Cult doesn't just spring up with Chaos Cultists screaming blood for the blood god in, in basement taverns. You know, they gather because they're unsatisfied with their way of life. And they want to... I would think they, they, they want to they, they want to improve their lives, they want to... They, they want to prepare against the, the famine and against disease. And so turning to these... Turning to these different alternative ways of like improving your lifestyle it may not seem like a crazy chaos cult that will get you burnt on the fire when you first start like to them it could just be like oh maybe if I do this ritual then I will my, like my, my kid won't get sick because Papa Nurgle will keep the sickness away or whatever and then turns out Papa Nurgle won't make the kid sick with that but inflicts him with something even worse and more horrible later on or makes you sick because the kid was supposed to get sick and and so that's how the chaos gods work but like they don't pray just on like people don't just become like crazy evil chaos worshipping madmen to start we're just human and I think that's what intrigues me about the whole idea of of the chaos gods is that they tap into our insecurities and build upon it Anyways, that's enough of a ramble. Ooh, look at this hand that's attached to the banner pole. I am going to build these ladies up in another video, and we'll do a little painting tutorial on them. War boss tutorial. I wanted to show you a test model I did, and I wanted to get your input on it because if you like it, then I'll do it. If not, then I will. I will recreate the standard black and purple. But here is a model I did. It's a seeker of Slanesh. And it's got a little bit of that standard GW scheme. I went with gold armor instead of black. And instead of making the little seahorsey mount a Slanesh purple as well, I wanted to make it look totally different from the rider. So you can tell where the rider begins and ends and where the beast is. So let's take a little closer look at it. And I'd really love your input. Let me know what you think. Oh, it's got, it's got thingies. That was so gross. It was so hard to paint. I mean, not like technique-wise, but just, ugh, man. Painting this gives, gives me the heebie-jeebies. But I went for like a bluish, aquatic, kind of teal coloring. I wanted to make it look like it, like it really was, could have been like a, taken right out of the ocean. But at the same time, it has these human, warm human flesh tones to it. Gross. So it will, kind of set that apart and the demonette 
I just I couldn't do the standard purple and purple and black so I gave it this gold corset I, I think I could shade the corset a little bit better but I also gave it some red to make it pop all the horns and spikes I painted red and to tie it in with the mount I made the mounts nails red as well or talons I guess but let me know what you think do is this is this something that you think would look good across a whole unit or should I just scrap this repaint it the GW standard so let me show you one more time here is what I painted I also kind of modeled put some spots and modeled I don't know if you can really see them but like I put like darker purple spots on her legs kind of to mirror some of these have like modeling Ooh, look at that pattern on her leg stuff like that so really artistic artsy stuff I saw this horrible rumor that says that Games Workshop photoshops their box art <laughs> that's horrible anyways let me know do you think this is better pale purple blacks blacks for the claws just pale purple skin and black or should I try doing something like this I wanted to make the demon at more of a flesh color too to make her look like she could be human but in the end this is kind of what I went with or I don't know maybe I'll make maybe I'll make different ones but I, I do want to unify them and keep them kind of coherent on the tabletop but let me know what you think all right thanks for watching this unboxing slash showcase uh, again let me know what what you think I should do for these regular girls standard GW scheme or Warboss tutorial custom job and I'll see you in the next one.